Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Arden Beanie, which you can see here in front of you. This is the first hat in the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along 2022, so if you're joining me for that crochet along, welcome. If you're not, uh, head on over to RidgeTexturesCrochet.com and you'll find all the information there about this crochet along that runs for four weeks. Today we're learning how to make the Arden Beanie. And uh, this is an easy crochet hat to work. I'll pull back here a little bit so you can see the whole thing a little bit better. Now I have worked it with a double thick brim, so a brim that I'm going to fold up. I'll give you instructions later on if you'd prefer to have uh, just a single brim. I'll give you instructions later on how to change the size. But this one does have a fold up brim. It's easy to work. The main stitches in it are single crochet and double crochet and it features this great stitch pattern. The top of the beanie, you're welcome to add a pom-pom to it if you would like or leave it as is. Both options look wonderful. For your pattern today, you're going to need a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Two of Wands Color Theory yarn for this crochet along. This is a four weight yarn. But I do find it's on a little bit of the lighter side if you're looking for something to uh, exchange it with. It's an, this is an acrylic yarn. You're going to need two colors. Each of these balls has about 246 yards in it. You're not going to use the entire ball. Uh, if you're doing the double thick brim, you will need the full uh, color A, but not the color B. Um, so just one ball of each should be fine. You're also going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or else it's also called a G7 hook and links to all these items can be found in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I do invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other crochet beanie patterns on this channel and also stay tuned because later in the week I will be releasing the matching scarf pattern for this Arden beanie. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Now our hat today is worked from the brim of the hat up and the brim is worked in rows. The size we're going to work today is for an adult head and uh, once again I'll give you uh, some help to change the size of your beanie later on. Now to begin our brim we're going to make a slip knot and then chain a foundation chain. Now a couple notes about the foundation chain. As I mentioned I worked a brim that could be folded up. So if you'd like to work a brim that you can fold up you're going to start by chaining 26 for this adult size. If you would prefer not to have a double thick brim I recommend only chaining 13. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. Now one more note about this pattern. I know that there are some out there who do not like to work slip stitches. If you'd prefer, you can work a single crochet or even a half double crochet for your broom in place of these slip stitches. You're then going to slip stitch in the next stitch and into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working rows of slip stitches, this time only working in the back loop only. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you have a loop that's closest to you and a loop that's in back. You're going to be working under this back loop only slip stitch into that first stitch and then in each stitch all the way across. Always working under the back loop only.
at the end of row two, once again, chain one and turn your work. For row three onward, we're going to once again slip stitch in the first stitch, working in the back loop only, and in each stitch all the way across. So you're going to repeat the row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches or the desired length uh, for the circumference of your hat and uh, that's when the fabric is not stretched so work until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches and then meet me back here Once you have worked your brim until you have 16 to 17 inches, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. It should have quite a nice stretch to it. Once you've worked 16 to 17 inches, you're going to chain one and take the two shorter ends of your brim and hold them together. Now working through the back loops only through both thicknesses, being careful to line up the stitches and not skip any in between, you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. So you're picking up the back loops only of both pieces of material, or I guess both sides of the one material and uh, going all the way across. Once you have slip stitched in each stitch all the way across, through the back loops only, you're going to turn your hat so that it is right side out. You're then ready to begin the body of the hat. For the body, we're going to start by chaining one and then by working a half double crochet, uh, 78 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So there's no uh, clear space to put your stitches. You're just working them where they are comfortable all the way around if you need to you can place a stitch marker halfway around and put half the stitches on one side, half on the other. It's really up to you. If you need to change the size of your beanie, you can work any multiple of stitches for this beanie. Just remember that when it comes to working the decrease, then it might just change your stitch counts. Uh, a little bit. It will change it <laughs> a little bit. So continue working 78 half double crochet stitches for the adult size all the way around and then meet me back here. Once you have worked 78 half double crochet stitches all the way around, I am going to come back a step here. Uh, so once you've worked 77, you're going to be actually switching to your color B in your 78th stitch. So to switch to the color B, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the final space where you want your stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You're then going to drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook, and then simply pull through. You're now all set to continue with your color B, and you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're going to leave our color A attached and we're going to carry it up as we work. So now working with our color B we're going to chain one and for round two of the hat body single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first final stitch, we're going to switch back again to our color A in that final stitch before joining with a slip stitch in the first.
When you come around at the end of round two, you have one stitch remaining. Insert your hook yarn uh, and draw up a loop with your color B. You can then drop your color B and pick up your color A, place it on your hook and pull through. You don't want to pull too tight, you don't want your fabric to bunch, but also don't uh, leave it too loose either so you don't have any loops on the inside of your hat. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round three, chain three, this counts as a double crochet stitch and double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch all the way around. When you come all the way around you're going to be switching back to your color B in the final stitch. When you come around to your final stitch on round three we're going to switch back to our color B, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops with your color A, then drop the color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You can then join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three, which was uh, counts as a double crochet stitch. Now for rounds four, through to 13, you're going to repeat rounds two and three five more times. So your round two with the single crochet stitches in your color B and your round three with your double crochet stitches in your color A. Repeat those rounds two and three five more times and then meet me back here. Once you come to the end of round 13, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. You've ended off on a round with color A. For round 14, we're going to chain one, working with our color B, and once again, single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So you wanna work one more round of single crochet stitches, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, uh, but before you do that, you're going to change back to your color A in that final stitch. At the end of round 14, you've switched back to your color A. For round 15, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. We're now going to work the first of our decrease rounds. So we're going to double crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to work a double crochet two together. To work the double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your double crochet two together. You're then going to double crochet in each of the next six stitches. and then double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around. Double crochet in each of the next six stitches followed by a double crochet two together. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Once you come all the way around at the end of round 15, in your final double crochet two together, we're going to switch back to our color B. So you're going to work the first leg of the stitch and the second part.
part of the stitch and then instead of yarning over and pulling through all three you're going to drop that color A, pick up the color B and pull your color B through your final three loops and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain. Now for round 16, we're going to chain one and simply single crochet into each stitch all the way around, switching back to your color A in the final stitch before joining with a slip stitch. For round 17, you're back to using your color A. We're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Next, double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Double crochet in each of the next five stitches. and double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, double crochet in each of the next five stitches, followed by a double crochet two together, all the way around, join a switch back to your color B, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round 18, you're, you've joined with a slip stitch in your color B. We're going to work one final round of color B. So chain one and single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to uh, switch or yeah, switch back to your color A in your final stitch and then join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. You can then at this time Fasten off your color B at the end of this round. For round 19, we're now working in our color A. We're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and then double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, double crochet in each of the next four stitches, followed by a double crochet two together, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 20, chain three, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and double crochet two stitches together. Double crochet in each of the next three stitches and double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 21, chain three and double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet two stitches together 
double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then double crochet two stitches together you're going to repeat that all the way around double crochet in each of the next two stitches followed by a double crochet two stitches together join with the slip stitch in the top of your first stitch when you come all the way around for round 22 we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet stitch and double crochet two together at, over the next two stitches repeat double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet two stitches together you're going to repeat that all the way around double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet two stitches together all the way around and you'll join with a slip stitch into your first stitch I'm almost all the way around when you're back at that first stitch join with your slip stitch For your final round, round 23, we're going to chain two. And this is going to count as the first part of our two together. You're then simply going to double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to work double crochet two stitches together over each stitch all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At this time, you can fasten off, leaving a long tail. one more stitch to go here join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and then fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail to finish the top of your hat you have a small opening here you're going to turn your hat right side uh, inside out and pull your long tail through to the inside taking your yarn needle thread it through the yarn needle now just around the top of the hat you're simply going to weave your needle in and out through the tops of the stitches around the top of your hat when you come all the way around simply pull the top of your hat closed I like to secure it with a little bit of a knot and then finally weave in your ends you can then go ahead weave in any other ends that you might have uh, still showing there on your beanie trim them off turn your hat right side out Fold up your brim if you have the foldable brim, and your Arden beanie is complete. That's all there is to working the Arden beanie. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you later on in the week for your matching scarf pattern. If not for then, then for the next 
Beanie pattern in the wonderful hats crochet along. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.